you know, when you're playing it, not only just Zen in general, but Zen mm. when he feels like he's back in form uh, from what we yeah, witnessed yesterday. Yeah. So I think at that point you need to take any little advantage on mind oh, game that you sure. can get. For sure. But uh, yeah, Zen beat Nas in stage one of the competition. Um, I believe, yeah, he beat him in this stage of the competition as well. He's beaten him in a show match. He's actually never, Zen has never lost to Nas, which is uh, kind of crazy. Nas won stage two. He's uh, the previous stage champion yep. for Salt Mine uh, 3. But this is the grand finals. This is the, uh, the main event that we've been building up to. And it's Nas versus Zen. Winner will play against Naupo for the championship. Um, CJ, who you got? Well, uh, first let me say that was a ridiculously smooth start to the series. That almost feels unnatural for the salt mine. <laughs> Straight into this game. And look, in terms of prediction, I have to pick Zen, I'd say. I know that that's a fantastic form, but something about this man Zen, there's a reason why we call him the best in the world in pretty much everything he does. But now it's getting the first on the board. Yeah, Nas in the Octane as well. He's been looking particularly mechanical in the Octane. Nice little pre-flip to force an own goal, then trying to hit it back corner. Nas denying him that uh, hit and now taking the lead 1-0. Yeah, to keep you guys fully up to date with what Zen and Nas have been uh, up to in the previous matches, it was actually Nas who took a 2-0 lead in the group stage, the final group stage of Salt Mine 3 against Zen. And then Zen decided to be Zen again, and uh, he reverse swept him. So that's their most recent matchup. And every other match that, that they played, Zen has won as well. So Ooh. Nas has to prove that he isn't, uh, you know, uh, going to struggle in this matchup. I think you know he's been the informed player. He's the most improved player, you know, coming into the tournament till now. That's for sure. I mean, what better time to break the? The curse, if you will, of the head to head then in the Salt Mine preliminary final when it matters most. The final day to determine who is the best 1v1 player in Europe, Nas. to get his second goal on the board. He's got a great 50, he's got a fantastic 50, but it hasn't bounced in. And nah. Zen has failed. Sorry about that, guys. I just accidentally muted my microphone because I'm an absolute beat, <laughs> man. Not going to lie. Wait, does he just own gold? OK, he's fine. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> that's a really interesting uh, tactic by Zen. He was air dribbling, and uh, Nas was underneath him. And he, yeah, mid-air mid -air dribble looked down, which is phenomenal uh, you know, control. But Nas still managed to save it. And it has held Zen to zero goals. And we're actually. Yeah, he's maybe forcing another own goal here even. Will he dribble it back? I kind of wanted to dribble it back there, I'm not going to lie. Oh, he has to fake out. He almost tried to get the angle in behind. We've talked about players today creating angles on the ball. Nass he didn't have the set up on the first air dribble, but found it again here. This time going for the ground pinch. Didn't quite get the touch he wanted. The bumps will help out. Be punished down the other end, but Zan trying to stay on the ball. Nas with a fantastic touch, double wall dash to move it along, and a nice oh, wow. little flick might have caught Zen, but I feel like he's got automatic psychos on command here as Nas still has the pressure, and Zan's made a Two huge nil. mistake. He's ground pinched himself <laughs> out of the way. Yeah, Zen is not getting any midfield control in this matchup so far. He's had one shot in almost three minutes of gameplay. And Nas has just scored his second goal to make it 2-0. And in the increased volatility of the kickoffs, Zen should be trying to look to make something happen here. Nas has just been giving him nothing, uh, not even a sniff at the goal. Zen does dive in, now gets boost and starts to work his way into an offensive position. But Nas has hit the ball center of his own net here. And Zen does make the most of it, so finally a mistake by Nas. Nas nearly got back to save this one, but that first touch was the problem. Just a massive mis mistake to set the ball for Zen. Yeah, he just didn't have the speed to get up there in time. Probably had to pre-jump the shot, but Zen with a great 50, and Nas really not... It, it, it's a slower game, it feels, than uh, the previous. A little bit more methodical, but it has been working so far for Nas. Zen not quite online with his play yet. He has found a shot on Nas. That's just oh, too strong, Nas. Not respecting 
the shot coming through. Happy to back off into net, but he's been punished for it. Yeah, heavy hit there by Zen straight overhead. And it's an interesting one, because if that's closer to the crossbar, then I think it might actually be easier to save in some ways, because Nats can crossbar pinch it. So Zen hitting it like in that sweet spot, too low where you can't hit a crossbar pinch save, but also too high where you can't just get um, an easy block by being completely goal side. How about this from Zen? A very uh, creative setup off the back wall. Nas has crushed him, and he's got an open net, and he sinks it. That's a confident finish by Nas after a perfect 50-50. Yeah, he had to be quick to this one, but also find the angle and the speed required, and he's done so well to recover. Just really catching Zen out there, who was did a pretty risky play, really. Coming off the roof there, opting for the ground pinch 50. With no boost to recover in time. So Nas grabs the lead again. Zed having to get to work. And Nas winning another kickoff here. Perhaps not as dominant this game in the kickoffs or as one-sided as we saw in the previous, where I think Roas may have won three kickoffs for the entire series. <laughs> as he throws oh, one on net, and he's always oh. caught Zen out, who's pixel perfect, but off to the touch, and he's oh. completely done, Zen. Zen knew he was out of position, had to commit to the top corner shot, and Nash knew this, went low, and broke his ankles. And Nash is just getting better and better with every stage. Oh, Salt Mine 3. He's the player who's made the biggest strides. The first time he played against Zen, he lost 3-1 three, three in a show match. He lost 3-1 again in stage one of the competition. The last two times he's played him, though, he's lost in game five. So he's been improving, although he's never beaten Zen in a series. He's been getting more and more competitive, getting closer to beating him every time he plays. And now he is starting very strong, completely Great crushing ball. Zen when it comes to territory. Like such a safe style. That's nah, not giving Zen any half chances. Really just has him doing his bidding right now. Nas is the, the puppet master in this game. Yeah, he's going for quality over quantity here. He's Nas, not taking any risks, making sure he gets the best touches that he can get. But Zen's completely caught him out here. Should be able to get one back, flip and throw oh. it done. Well to recover. He looked like he might have been hitting it wide, but the mid-air adjustment is he brings it back to one with 22 seconds on the clock. Yeah, nice uh, flip there by, from Zen. It was a bit of an awkward pre-flip where he was at a risk of hitting the post to be followed through the wrong way. Zen, as usual, gets it right. He's got to get back quickly, though, and he will. And in fact, it might be Zen counter-attacking now. Nas misses with his opportunity from the kickoff. Oh, he's up quickly here, though. That's a great play by Nas. He's keeping Zen at bay for a bit longer, but now here comes Zen. Zero hesitation to the air. Air double bump, attempted, it's but wide. Nas bumps Zen into the ball and puts it wide. And she'll be able to put this one down as well, Nas. Perhaps an upset. We've seen the head-to-head -head record. Zen having his measure. 3-1. to 4-0, actually. 4-0, should yeah, I never say. Never lost to Nas, but... So undefeated. And, well, as we said, what better time to break that They're like at his first win on the board and have look a look at the field control. 67% field control on the Next Rank post-game stats. Remember, you can still sign up for free content uh, with the nextrank.com, exclamation mark TNR and Twitch chat, or... Uh, YouTube description. You guys are watching live do still also have the chance to get a 15% discount if you decide to buy the next rank course on when, when it releases early 2024. Unfortunately though, if you're watching this on video, then uh, that will already have been expired. But don't worry, you, the content remains free uh, to sign up for if you join the nextrank.com email list over there. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, every time that these two have played, Zen has won. But every time they've played, it's been that little bit closer. Nas has improved. He's been, you know, getting a little bit closer. Last yep. time, Zen needed to reverse sweep him uh, to beat him. So, do you think this is the 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 one? Obviously, we both think Zen's gonna you know win it at the start of the series. But after seeing game one, do you think this is the time that uh, Nas will have his number? I think it's a, actually a really good matchup for Nas, just purely based on play style right now. Nas, I know a lot of the chat are saying, is this is this game on 0.5 times speed? Yeah. Nas is just playing so methodically compared to the previous game where it was all about these little micro adjustments and, and the pace was on from Roas and Naupo. This one is really making Zen awkward, I think, as he likes playing at that fast play style, um, fast pace style where he can take to the skies, grab the 100 boost, and flick it end to end. But right now, Nass is just playing so slow and he's done it again here. Off the kickoff, fading in Zen and executing the flick. Yeah, well played by Nass again, Zen. Unable to get back, and even a simple flick is good. And Nasa is definitely one of the guys you want to be replicating right now if you want to find success in your own games, because 
he just makes the simple stuff look so effective. Delayed kickoff by Zen, follow through from Nas. Actually gets him a good kickoff win though. And the shot is in. Nas with accuracy up to nil. And just like the previous preliminary final, it's going heavily in favor of one player early. Two in 11 seconds and more dominance in the kickoffs for the orange team. Maybe there's something in this. Zen wanting to be orange. Orange side dominating kickoffs. Two out of two series. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not into conspiracies, but there might be something going on. And Nas is mixing it up really well here. Just plays the first touch immediately. Beats Zen to the ball and then continues on with the play down the field. I mean, this really illustrates why it could be so effective to just send the ball first time. He didn't need to go for a full pitch air dribble there. The ball can travel faster than you can. He just pops it high, gets a chase in before Zen can recover. Moves up 3-0. The Frenchman's in trouble. I feel like Nas right now. Taking so much speed out of this game is proving troublesome for Zen, who is in big trouble again. Nas is just doing as he pleases in offense. Zen is just not able to respond to anything that he's got right now. Oh, it's just perfect touches by Nas. The pass to himself off the backboard. And then the first touch to set up the air roll shot. Pass to boost starts Zen, 4-0. Nas making Zen look completely incapable of stopping it. But now Zen takes the ball to his natural habitat. Into the air he goes. And that is where he may have an unstoppable advantage. This is what we may see from Zen is his ability to adapt and change his style. But right now we haven't really seen his, his go-to aerial play come into fruition just yet. But that is a credit to Nas who hasn't really let him do that just with how slow he has been playing and stealing all the boost. Playing that serve play. Zen might be able to get the angle on this. He's certainly got the boost to work with. He's got a great beat. Oh, wow. You know he's going to recover every single time <laughs> off the ceiling. Reset. It's back to two. Yeah, it's just a classic Zen move here where he gets bumped into the ceiling and uses it against his opponent. He's uh, definitely looking good with his aerial game. But will he be able to find openings often enough. That's really been the issue for Zen in this series. Nas has been all over him. He's not been giving Zen many chances. But look at Zen, he's an improved player with a kickoff game back in the day. He would have just been struggling non-stop with this. But he's finding the switch ups. Simple directional changes. Simple angle changes. To not only even the kickoff losses that you were talking about earlier on, but also turn them around and get kickoff wins for himself. Yeah, he just got more of the ball on that kickoff. Let's see what happens here. He's won it again. Nash should be able to take this one back to the corner. Nash will be happy, Nash will be happy with that one, but Zen still sticking around him on it. Open bit here. Can Nash just fire this one on it? Yes, he can get this one on net. Zen seemingly having all the momentum, but Nash combating that, getting the counter attack, forcing the overcommit. He's done super well there. It's back to 5 3, so Nas. Again, a little bit of breathing room, but eight goals in just over a minute here. It is an absolute shootout. Yeah, just a positional masterclass by uh, by, by Nas, a masterclass, if you will. He's just been strategically brilliant so far. But then looks confident, looks mechanical. Oh, what a save though by Nas to stop the dribble bump. Off the reset and get the demo. Immediate shot. Has he got it in? Then spawned on the right side to save it. And he'll stay behind by two. Yeah, but Nas still has boost. He has 100. Zen instantly up. Nas fakes, but he's able to get a little bit of a touch on that. Is Zen. He's trying to stick around. Instant shot. Zen, great positioning. Pops it up, but he's still in trouble. He's losing all of the boost. And he's missed the ball. The pressure is too much. Nas is just wearing this man down. Kills an extra second off the clock. He gets a three-goal lead. And Zen just knows if he doesn't force something, he's going to be stuck in goal for a while. He doesn't want to be stuck in goal. He's sick of playing this defensive game in his own half. He wants to be in control of the ball. He wants to run the show. And yeah, the frustration got to him. He wasn't disciplined enough. He dove in at a bad time. Um, and uh, yeah, Nas was easily able to score again. That's a nice fake challenge there by Zen. As uh, Nas shoots and gives away the ball. And now he might have made a first mistake with the positioning as Zen spots him going for boost at a bad time. Yeah, Zen's always going to keep player honest, especially when they're looking to grab that boost, and he just flips way too far across that one. As Nas leaves the goal open for just a moment, that's enough for Zen to capitalize on that. It's back to two, 10 goals again in two minutes. It's been 
Certainly a hotly contested game so far. Zen wins his kickoff, grabs Boo straight up in the air. This is what he loves to do. A reset now on oh the ball, my. tries to get the follow-up. Nash defense, oh but goodness. has been demoed and will concede the goal. We're back to one. Yeah, Zen's control is definitely on point. Even though he's been struggling in this series with other aspects, he's not, he's not fallen off at all with his aerial car control. That was a perfect setup. Effortless reset and the recovery as well to keep his momentum and demo Nas create the opportunity. Absolutely fantastic stuff, but no Nas. Pressures him again, great shot, and it's actually gone in. Zen trying to hit his own post. A bit too precisely there, he misjudged where the goal was and just stuck it in the bottom corner. Nas just, again, winning kickoffs. Again, orange side. I'm not sure if we're expecting this. I know the Zen in the past, as you spoke about, has had some kickoff issues, but looks like he has adapted somewhat. Nas will win kickoff yet again here. 100 boost. Zen has to back to the corner. Can set up the flick, and he beats him. Perfect. Nas gets his eighth goal on the board. Just over two minutes gone in this game. It's just all about timing. He knows exactly when, Nas, when Zen is going to be challenging. Just flicks it past him. Doesn't go for anything too fancy. It's all about just releasing the ball quickly. And uh, he is ahead by three. Ton of time left in game two. Zen has been effective going forwards, but has not many answers to Nas when it's uh, his turn to defend. Then chases Nas into the back corner. Nas to the dive bomb save to stop the near post attack. And that's the end of Zen's attack, just like that. It's Nas had the boost spawning for him after Zen left. Zen finds a way to challenge Nas. It's been tough for him to challenge in those positions, so that will be promising. Air dribble bumping coming for Zen. Nas sitting low, but Zen spirals downwards to him and scores a sick goal. Yeah, fantastic adjustment there from Zen in the air, recognizing that Nas is trying to save that at the last possible moment on the goal line. Zen finds the touch, pushes it back in the net. There's still so much time left. It's 8-6. There's over two minutes. It's basically half a game of Rocket League left. So it is so interesting as 1v1 as the seal, as the skill ceiling increases, as the games get more competitive, it still becomes more of a kickoff simulation as Nash oh, gets another win. It. Can he turn it in? Zen's back in time. He'll want that moment again. Yeah, Zen, earlier on this series, he did try one delayed kickoff and it wasn't that effective. But I, I think he should be going back to that at some point because he is wow. being out-controlled. Low 50 from Nas goes past him and it is now nine for the Moroccan. Zen has not got a good read on Nas' offense right now. He's making it look easy. Just low 15 the ball straight through. One of the best players in the world. I mean, it, he's just frustrating Zen right now in how slow he is playing. So, change this up. It's an awkward matchup, it feels like. I know Zen has won 4-0, but Nas getting better every time. Can he get the bump this time? He's overcommitted again. Nas, can he will this one in? Can he hook this one around? He does find the angle. Tenth goal for Nas. Four goal lead. You know, I love to see Zen going for some tricky setups, some, uh, you know, highly mechanical required plays. But that was maybe a bit too much. That was very awkward. He almost had to center the ball to Nas and pass it to him to have any chance of scoring. So definitely too risky there. Ten goals for Nas with so much time left on the clock. I mean, Zen will usually be pretty happy to get six and now seven with over 90 seconds remaining. But his opponent has just outworked him so much. 14 shots for Nas. 10 of them converted, only 10 to Zen, which seven of them have gone in. They're both scoring well. Nas has just got more ball control and uh, a higher rate of creation when it comes to chances. Absolutely zero defense <laughs> is present here in this game. It is ridiculous. I'm not sure if we accidentally put more time on the clock. 17 goals, three and a half minutes. Nas winning another 50. Zen trying to roll through this one. He'll lose boost. I'll just lose the ball. He's gonna have to turn. Try and keep Nas honest. He's trying to secure that corner. Oh. He's being demoed. Nas can take this one upstairs. Zen spawns near post. Gets the reset. Fakes it out. Zen does well. Nas still on the ball. Still trying to harass. Still playing so slow. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He's got more boosts. He's got another reset. Zen is failing. Nas is dominating. 11-7. He might have secured game two as well. Just perfect spacing by Nas. Zen wants Nas to hit the ball into him. He's just flying in front of the ball. And Nas is not falling for Zen's tricks. He's not giving Zen what he wants. He is keeping the ball perfectly away from Zen. And uh, once Zen falls out of position, he strikes and it does end up in the back of the net. Zen still has time though. 
to make something happen here. If a high flick goes off the crossbar, Zen loops around to go again from the sidewall at the other side of the box. It's a ground double from Zen. Oh, it's perfect. What a goal. He's down by three, but that might be the best one we've seen. When you give him this much time, he just executes every single time. He is in. Bang. Back to three. 41 on the clock, which means there could be 16 goals still based on how this game has gone. Yeah, there's so much time left. Zen trying to hit oh. Nas with a wave dash recovery kickoff. He doesn't manage, but what a save by Zen. Scrambles back goal side. Still up against it though as Nas steals the back corner boost away. Zen's on 23. The perfect fadeaway 50 by Nas. Has Zen on the ropes. Zen just surviving, but this is not what he needs right now. He has to get control of the ball and Nas is not going to give it to him. He's just going to shoot as soon as Zen leaves the net open. 12 goals against wow. Zen. Zen calls next. And uh, wow, Nas is on fire for the final day of Salt Mine 3 EU. You know, we're talking about how maybe it's that Rawas Zen match that looks scripted. Looks like it might be on the cards. Naupo and Nas, they're not following that script. Naupo 4 1's Rawas. Now Nas 2 0 up on Zen. And it's been utter domination. He has completely controlled him. I've seen enough. He's the best player I've ever seen. <laughs> Nas, the change up of speed. I mean, he just has, he's just frustrated Zen time and time again. The kickoffs have been exceptional. The 50s that he's getting, I'm not sure if it is just maybe the, the octane that is, is forcing Zen to be awkward. I Surely know. not. I mean, the, the, the Fennec, the guy, well, maybe, maybe it is the octane. But yeah, usually the Fennec is like that 50 50 machine that, you know, everybody talks about. But, but Nas it's, doesn't it's like agree. 99 control is what Nas has. He's just, yeah. he's just so, and, and one speed for, for, <laughs> for a lot of it. But. It's all about, like, for him, I get it. It's not about, like, you know, the darting around the field, like, now putting Zen. He's trying to get the, the speed when it's important. He's trying to get the, the burst of speed and uh, outplay Zen with the acceleration rather than the constant pressure. It's very interesting to see. Zen has struggled against it. He's not found consistent ways out of defense. He's definitely not had consistent ways to stop Nas from scoring. Um, but yeah, check out some of the Chalkcast post game highlights there. We are now 2 0 in favor of Nas. Um, and be sure to check out Chalked using exclamation mark Chalked in Twitch chat or scroll down to the YouTube description. We've got uh, bonus episodes on Patreon, six of which we recorded in Tampa here while we're uh, uh, in Tampa for solo queue and Salt Mine 3 events in person. Um, and we've got uh, plenty of free episodes, free content for you guys to uh, find. Uh, join the Discord, check out the content on YouTube, um, Apple Music, Spotify, all the good places. And uh, yeah, keep the conversation active in the off season for Rocket League. And again, almost getting baked there, but has won the kickoff. Now when he gets time, this is where, I mean, his strike rate is so good wow. in that scenario. Nas getting beaten over the top. Zen with a double. The perfect start to look game at, three. Look at the air roll by Zen to dodge the mid-air bumps. You know, a lot of time when you're air dribbling over someone, they're just going to bump you because you've put yourself exactly where the ball used to be. But Zen managed to avoid the challenge with the ball and his own car. Um, so yeah, definitely not a my car moment for the series. We're going to need to wait a bit longer for that one. And uh, now this is a, a much better start. It's been the best start so far. Can he make it even better still? No, he can't. Nas is not falling for these 50-50s. Zen gets a, a bit too uh, far upfield with no recovery plan. I mean, he's just pleading Nas to challenge at any point, but Nas is not biting on any of these fakes. What a 50 again. Backflip through it. Getting the recovery, getting the equalizer, and it just feels like a, a, a bad matchup for Zen. I, I, it's hard to say that knowing the head to head. And right now, when it matters most, Nas is proving every single time he plays Zen. He's taken upstairs again. This time, Nas goes high. He learned from the first challenge that he missed and might be able to find this one on net. He's put it on and gets a goal off the challenge. And that's just immaculate defensive um, adaptation by Nas. The last goal, the only goal that Zen scored this game was a double tap where he air dribbled over Nas. So what does Nas do the next time Zen's air dribbling? He just goes for a higher challenge. So it's up to Zen to switch it up. He did look like he was going for a similar kind of idea uh, with a higher air dribble. Oh, that's a mistake by Nas though. He's recovered well, bumped Zen out of position, but initially there, he did miss his touch. And Nas faking that corner boost motion, but he's grabbing it now as Zen grabs mid boost, takes up Zen's oh, early pop again. He's just beating it with pace this time, Nas. Usually wouldn't be challenging that one, I'd say, but 
Zen's getting a little bit too confident. Zen just so fast to get that second touch. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it looks like Nasu expecting a heavier first touch there that he could pounce on, but Zen kept it close and he had another one ready before Nas could connect 2-2. Two -two. You know, we asked the same question when Rawas is trailing against Naupo in their series. Is the game three a must-win game? Oh, perfect shot by Nas. He just deletes the ball as soon as he creates any space at all. Hardly any boost, hardly any momentum, not much of a run-up, but he still sends it into the top corner. Again, it's a change-up speed. He just approaches so slow and then fires that one home. He almost gets in comfortable in net. And then at a moment's notice, as we said, if he's a if he's a FIFA card, he's got 99 acceleration, but about three top speed does Nas. It just worries Zen out of it. Fantastic to watch a different play style come into effect, but Zen this time is going to be able to get one back. Nas almost getting all on it. Yeah, good bunny hopping by Zen here, quickly jumping after every landing. I mean, you can it's easy to get those wrong. I'm sure you've all had moments in your games. I know I know I have where I try to jump immediately after landing, my car just spins out. Um, I, I, I am yelling, you know, what happens to my car, but Zen able to keep control, just fluid movement as always. Nas has control of the ball after this kickoff and comfortably takes it to the back corner. Fake ceiling challenge by Zed. Nas pops it high after noticing Zed. Setting up shot close. It's Nas with the reset. I mean, you know, these attacks, they kind of look so harmless at first. Nas is just like hovering there. And then all of a sudden, he's right next to your goal with a flip reset. Speaking of, here's uh, Zed right next to Nas's goal, but the attack has been stopped again. Nas landed so well. He's straight on the attack. He gets a flick. Zed should be able to get a regulation save. It's a recovery like Nas still keeping the pressure on and Zen can't get back in time, puts it behind him, can't use that backwards flip. And it's Zen just caught out on the goal line once again. Yeah, just the, the movement by Nas is so impressive. He knew exactly where Zen was going to save that ball towards. He was right there. Zen was, you know, probably looking to save the ball once and then dart after it. But he looked up and saw Nas already on the ball because Nas is reading him so well. And Zen's crushed him with that challenge, but misses the open net. He was in a rush to get it in before Nas recovers. And that's frustrating for Zen. He's got to be careful here. He's starting to descend it on every single play. And Nas, you know, he's moving slow because he's choosing to. It's not because he, he doesn't know how to go fast. If Zen does absolutely zoom into the ball at every occasion, oh, Nas boost. will adapt. And yes, he has missed the boost. No opportunity for Nas to save that. Great realization by Zen. Like you said, Nas turned too early. He even missed this small pad. Yeah, if he got the pad, he would have been out of clear it. He would have still been in trouble for that next offense. But Zen making the most of a small mistake from Nas. Usually so measured, so careful, as we said, going for that quality over quantity Zen this time. That's been the ball, but with any boost at all to work with Nas. You better work this one downfield. Zen has to back right off. Wants corner boost. Nas. Trying to bait him off that corner. Another low 50, another recovery. Almost a bump on Zen. Who oh. misses the touch. Shot on net. Great recovery. Well, you know, it's it's terrifying watching Nas dribble because his low 50 setup looks identical to his flick setup. There's almost no difference. And Zen has to be so careful when he's challenging one or the other. Now he nearly got demo there. Zen escaped it as he turned to challenge Nas again. Nas putting the pressure on Zen. Both players. Equal and boost for most of these plays, but it's Nas who has the ball. Air dribble bump is threatened. Zen flies down, down out the way of it. Nas goes back for a reset. Wow. Dunks on Zen and <laughs> scores a fifth. It just keeps coming. The attack never ends. His 50s are ridiculous here, Nas. The reset so he could push himself through the ball. Beat Zen in the air and recover quickly enough to put that one home. 5-4 now. Nas with the lead again. Minute 30 away. From moving on to 3-0 in his best of seven. And then committing for this mid-boost race. He can't win it. It's Nas with the ceiling shot. Can he get another one? He delays it. Let's oh! it bounce on target and then follows up his own shot. Nas has got Zen on a string. He seems to do this to everybody in this tournament. The terrifying prospect of a flick forces Zen to pre-jump nothing. He is making the world champ look silly right here. Salt mine. EU prelim finals and Nas gets a two goal lead. Certainly the most important game, most important 1v1 game what he has touch. played in. Oh, that's Nas. Yeah, he's already sent it here initially. That was a great touch, but he bit off more than he could chew. Nas is constantly slowing Zen down. He's 
stopping Zen from advancing, but Zen knew there, there has to be zero boost for Nas. You just aerialed after a kickoff where you didn't pick up any boost. You, you're on zero. So great call there by Zen. He's within one. If Nas gets a hold of the ball here, I think we all know he could just keep it under control. It's what he does uh, to the frustration of many, as, many of his opponents. Yeah, Nas has won the kickoff yet again. I mean, it's, it's getting ridiculous how one-sided the kickoffs have been in every single matchup. So far today, there's a reset. He has to leave, but he does want to overdue me. This is one thing about Nassi. He never flips through the ball, just knowing that his recoveries are the most important part of this matchup with Zen. He doesn't want to be overdue me. He doesn't want to be giving up easy goals. He's still on the ball, Zen, throwing himself forward. He's given up possession, but as has Nass, if he wants to grab this corner boost, the 50 comes Ooh. through. He's a little win for Nass. Zen having to back off, but he just wants that corner. Zen on the attack. Early flick, it's oh an awkward goodness. save. And Zen, this time, being a little bit overzealous in attack. He's over-aggressing, but there's only 30 seconds left. He needs a goal. Yeah, Zen is trying to find a safe way through. He really does not want to overextend and have a two-goal lead to make up. Now, Nas might have overextended with his challenge. He just has enough boost every single time. Zen with the perfect mid-boost pickup, though. He doesn't have to hold on any longer. Wow. That is just unbelievable. Zen was leaving the pad as it spawned. That's how confident he was. He knew when it's appearing. And that gave him plenty to commit to an attack because he knew he had extra boost if it didn't go in. It's almost like he pre-ordered that boost and just scooped it up on the way through. That is ridiculous. He had the thing on lockdown. He had it to the millisecond, scooped it up, grabbed the 100, same day delivery, and can he get the goal here? Takes it upstairs, Nash is up, he's been beaten. Zen is going to oh be able to goodness. walk it in at the oh very my. last moment, has stolen this one. He starts the game by air dribbling over Nas, and now he looks to finish it with the exact same idea. Nas trying to recover desperately, but there is no hope. He needs a kickoff possession. Three seconds to get it does give him a little bit of options, though. He doesn't need to get a direct kickoff goal here. He could just try and get it up in the air. Still going to stay up, but he's been bumped. Nas keeping it alive. He needs corner boost as well. Zen bumps him off and gets him oh. first game on the board. And I tell you what, might have just stolen game three. Yeah, just like the Ruas versus Naipo series. Ruas first win against Naipo, it was not easy. He had it in overtime game three. Um, and the same thing here, Zen had to wait until the very last second to get a win against Nas, who has you know, crushed him the previous game, 12-8. So still looks to be a Nas favorite series, but that's one on the board for Zen. And the good news for him is that he does have the ability to outplay Nas. That's clear to see. It's always been clear to see in this matchup. Zen can outplay yep. Nas. He can outplay anyone um, if he's feeling confident enough with his mechanics, which he you know, looks like he is today. Um, and yeah, you won't need a reverse sweep, which is nice. It's a, he reverse swept him last time that they played, but that's a whole lot harder to do in a best of seven. And the big difference, I'd say, is Zen is just winning these speed battles. But when, when Nas can slow it down, it's just who can play the game on their terms. When the game is fast-paced, mm. it's pinging off the walls, Zen is outpacing Nas every single time when it's in the air. But Nas, when he gets control of that ball and can just slow it right down, Zen is very awkward like that. So yeah, um, certainly maybe a little, you know, if anyone's watching, maybe playing Zen in the future, take write some notes about the change up of speed. But Zen has done yeah. well to try and make, you know, Play the game on his terms and dictate it, yeah. the pace. It, it's just another thing you can you can adapt. I mean, we always talk about changing the kickoff strategy, changing the challenging strategy, changing the defensive strategy, the aerial game, ground game. Literally every aspect of Rocket League, and you know, no more so than in one v one, is adaptable when you have um, the chance to surprise your opponent. And Zen has come away with a kickoff win here. Reset goes high, and Nas. Had the block anyway. That's ridiculous goal like coverage and the counter attack to match it. We do have a 1 0 game. He used to squeeze himself out of the net to recover there. A little wave dash on the ground. Zen not able to recover in time. And that's what Nas does like there. If Zen isn't as clinical in the air. It's pretty much the win condition right now for Zen. When he does get time on the ball, which is rare, he has to be clinical with his shots. That time it was wide and he said Nas had the shot covered regardless. This time, that's no boost. Trying to flick it forward to create a little bit of pressure. Grab that corner boost, secured. Zen does get the beat. There it is again. Just change up pace this time. It is Zen. Just catching out Nas, beating him over the top. Gets his first on the board. Yeah, Nas is going for a bit of an obvious reverse challenge here. No, that one, um, he'll know was in Zen's vision. So he wasn't looking to surprise Zen 
uh, with, with, you know, this, this suddenly spawning 50-50. I'm sure you've all been jump scared by those in your own games, but yeah, yeah it's just another, you know, trick lit by Nas. This time hasn't worked, but more pressure on Zen. He has to probably think about that in the future. Nas has been far better at crossing the distance. Oh, what oh, outplay! I think it's gone off target, but Nas hit him with the pogo outplay in the midfield. And if that was on, wow. there was no way Zen was going to get back in time. Yeah, that would have been just a, a forfeit, I'd say, if you get poco like that. That was absolutely insane, but he didn't quite find the net. The demo came through, which was fortunate enough for Zen. He goes again, tries to go direct. Nash will get a pretty comfortable save. He's trying to get Sugugo that boost. He doesn't want to get demoed. And then leaves it. I think the safer option, but Nash in a little bit of trouble here. He's, again, just flirting around with the speed of this game. Still... Not quite able to grab possession back then. Ceiling, this is up. Oh, it's just oh, wow. right now. He's beaten Nas again in the wow. air. Making Nas look silly. High aerial plays. And he grabs the lead. That, I mean, he's just done it again. Nas is really starting to scratch his head about how to stop Zen's aerial game. He joins the long list of players who have yet to figure out how to do that. It's a, a constant battle. Can Zen keep surprising Nas or can Nas find a way to get a good read on Zen. And, uh, you know, with Zen in this kind of form, I don't think anyone's likely to get a good read on Zerio game. Ceiling double by Zen. Just goes directly for goal with the second touch. It's gone in, my goodness. We're seeing a lot of ceiling double resets right now, but this was just a ceiling double tap from the halfway line that goes flying into the bottom corner. It's almost he's, he's set up for the signature shot, but this time it's straight on net. As he's so good at using that ceiling to his advantage, catching out opponents and really he's he's a player that the ceiling is like just just the ground it's just like well. an upside down it's, floor it's an him. upside down floor it's ridiculous nas this time can't quite get a touch bumps are coming through but nas needs to be careful in this situation he's been caught out a couple of times and zen is just going to sit under this try and get the oh, bump there it is wow. again this close play has been won by zen so many times and he's been caught out once more I mean, just so smart by Zen here. A lot of players would have tried to play the ball again and shot high, giving Nas a chance. It gives Nas no chance there, just takes him out of the game and lets the ball do the work for him. Or, yeah, I, I for actually forgot to mention uh, earlier in the stream, we're going to do it very quickly here. If you are typing in chat in a different, uh, well, in a, in a language that is not English, uh, we will have to time you out, and that's not because we you know, don't like other languages. I'd, I'd love to be able to speak other languages, but myself and my mod team can't read it. CJ can't read it. We're useless. We only, we're English uh, only. Or so, Australian. Yeah, we can't we can't read the other languages, so we don't know what you're saying. Could be, you could be saying anything. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to need to time out anything that isn't English. If you want to inter interact with the chat, you're welcome to do so. Use uh, Google Translate, and uh, yeah, you, you can interact with your fellow Twitch chatters. And we'll all be able to understand each other. Uh, we also do have other other languages uh, broadcasting Salt Mine Three, so yeah, there are other places you can use uh, other languages uh, to type. And those moderators will, and those streamers will be able to understand you. So quick note there, as we continue on with Game Four, Nas now with the air double bump. Uh, perfect timing there, Nas to get a goal right as we finish uh, the quick uh, intermission. Yeah, great pop up there from Nas. It was a perfect setup. He just had to find Zen who. Usually pretty effective. He's pretty cluey at working his way around those bumps. This time, Nas proving too strong, but still two goals down here. Nas has been winning most of the kickoffs. This time, Zen takes the advantage. Great recovery as well. Great corner boost if he wants it. He is going to take the indir indirect approach. This time, he fakes two, but Nas just getting that back of the hitbox on the card. Zen oh my goodness. finds okay. himself very awkward, finds Nas on the sidewall and oh. almost hands up a goal. Great save. Oh well, yeah, I was thinking for a second there, Zen's just going to try and uh, set up a, a double tap from some halfway like He's like going backwards like an absolute madman. And Nas doesn't have a flip there, so Zen didn't have to worry about the dodge. Uh, yeah. Nas will have to worry about this one though. Zen. Looking to use, uh, you know, the same idea as NAS has, but in different places. Those change-ups of speed. We're seeing, you know, Zen does this as well. He doesn't just zoom around the field. He likes to slow down and uh, try to switch up his strategy. He does so here for a fifth goal. And, uh, you know, after hitting so many high shots on net, conditioning NAS to expect that, the low 50, which actually just results in a very simple roll into the net. No 50-50 needed is uh, a great switch-up to go for. Yeah, again, just gets on the side of the ball there in case NAS commits to that bottom corner. He can cut it in behind him this time, Nas. Trying to cover the flick. Zen does fake it, so trigger lead. Zen looking to tie up this series 2 2. Takes this one upstairs. He's got a nice little stall oh, into a reset. That's oh. really nice, but Nas 
meets him on the crossbar. Clears that one away. Zen trying to show his little bag of tricks. This time it wasn't as effective, but he's straight on the attack again. He's trying to delay the reset. Keep it as late as possible. <laughs> and he's absolutely done Nassid. Zen air dribbling off to the side. And then flip resets on the far side of the ball to put it behind Nas and snipes it underneath the pre-jump at the same time. I mean, the placement there needed to be perfect. He really didn't have a lot to aim for with the way that he was set up next to the ball. Zen is starting to really gain some success in this matchup. Fake suit, back corner dribble goes the other way. Zen switching sides, keeping Nas guessing. Can he get another goal off the side? Well, look at the slow approach from Zen now. The acceleration with the shot to back Nas up into the net. Nas has done well, but these are all great plays by Zen to just keep Nas confused about what's coming next. Yeah, and it's so smart given the time remaining as well. Zen, you saw before there, he probably could have just gone for the direct shot on net, but he went for the slow play, the air dribble, because what's going to do is kill time on net. Oh, he's, oh, he's missed, missed this. This is very awkward. Can Nas recover in time and fire that one on net? No, he can't. Oh, That's wow. That's going to be this game well under wraps. Looks like we're going to have a tied series here. Four goals. Still the margins there. Might just get one more. There's a nice reset. There's the shot. Top corner follow up. What a save. great save from Nass. Albeit a little too, little too late right now. It's back to three. <laughs> He's happy with it. What a save, says Zen. A bit of respect in chat. Or is it? <laughs> we're going to have 2-2. Two, two. I, I do wonder. I mean, usually Given with that, the, the it, was, it was a great save. It, was, it you know, really was a fantastic save. But I wonder if... Zen is trying to get underneath Nasset's skin a little bit there with the with the what a save because obviously we know the game is probably over. You know, two goals in seven seconds is very doable. Hang on a second here. I take it back. Game on. Nas has read the delayed kickoff and we actually have a winnable game. There is absolutely no way. Zen, you cannot keep <laughs> putting yourself in these situations. Now just wait one second. We need a goal. He needs a kickoff goal. In Straight the next up. four seconds, which basically is a only immediately off this kickoff this right is now. That's really tough. Yeah, that's, cool. that's the that's the hardest spawn to get a kickoff goal from. So your opponent does have that extra boost pad on the approach, so they're usually able to recover and save just a wider array of shots. So yeah, uh, unlucky there for Nas to get the straight spawn, but obviously it's, it's on a sequence, so he had other opportunities earlier to prevent that from happening. But wow, Zen is back. He is in a tie series situation. We've got um, just three more games, max maybe two left. And I think Nas might be changing preset. He did leave the lobby there as uh, we get ready for the next game. Zen is uh, fully in control now. You know, earlier we saw field control for Nas, possession for Nas, and now Zen is massively in control of those two aspects of the game. Boost consumption out of this world for Zen. He couldn't find enough. There was so, there was so much boost actually yep. available for him in that game and he's using all of it. But the... Uh, the interesting part of that is for in order for that to happen, he has to have, you know, leveled up his kickoff game. And you keep mentioning it, you know, Nas was crushing him early on. But Zen is a, he's, he's a very well-rounded ones player now. He doesn't just, you know, continue lo playing the same losing strategy. He yep. is making adaptations. So hats off to him. That's good to see uh, that, you know, a player like him who's already done it all in Rocket League is still adding to his game, still becoming a better player uh, day on day. Yeah, and it's interesting to, interesting to see that Nas at the start of the game was using those slow plays and Zen really getting caught out overthinking, but after Zen's won a couple of challenges, a couple of those plays, Nas has almost gone back into his shell a little bit with some of his plays. So it's certainly back on Zen's terms. The game is played mm -hmm. a little bit more of an aerial game as well. It's certainly sped up a little bit from game one and game number two. So it's up to Nas now to turn this one around and put it back on his own terms. But for now, Zen pretty well in control as Nas has gone to the Fennec. Interesting. So it was, yeah, Octane start for Nas. Fennec switch. He's you know played most of this tournament in the Fennec. The Octane was you know a, a recent addition, which did look to, to make him um, you know lean towards that mechanical aspect of the game uh, a bit more. The Fennec is more of you know what you'd expect from uh, a player with Nas's play style. But uh, let's see what you can do with it. it it's 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 clearly you know either a play style switch up or just a you know trying to trigger some placebo. He will be opening the scoring here with uh, a nice demo in the back corner. Zen spawns to the far side, so he's not even going to get a lucky spawn save. Yeah, 1-0 Nass. I think it's just really smart to switch up to the Fennec at this stage because things were really starting to go against him. Yeah, you don't want to be losing game number five here. Best of seven. Got now 3-2 with your backs against the wall. So Nass with a change up and just there, Zen grabbing that corner boost, but losing his life because of it there. And this is done pretty well so far. I like seeing the Fennec. It certainly feels quicker uh, visually right now for Nas. Let's see what 
it does for him in his gameplay. Zan, reset, more aerial play. It's just automatic, oh, but I see. he opts not to go for the flick there, and Nas reading the fake. That's superb. Yeah, it, it looked like Zane was expecting Nas to, uh, to pre-jump there, just to respect the uh, flick that he was with the fake with, but Nas, nothing of the sort, just stayed grinded and uh, read it perfectly. And Zen's got a chance to keep him consistently in his goal here. Flick goes into the roof of the net and in on the rebound. Great read by Zen. And, a, you know, honestly a decisive uh, pressure play. He did have a lot of boost to play with there himself. So well done to find an opening. Yeah, and I think <laughs> Nas looks very awkward when he's facing away from Zen on those challenges. When he's trying to shadow defend, he's been caught out a few times. Zen can just pop it, he can flick it, he can fake it. That's funny. A little bit of trouble, but Ooh. the kickoffs have never been an issue for this man. Right off the bat, wins possession, wins the pressure. Zen can't get the save. That was a great try, though, by Zen. I mean, nearly did enough to save that. It just flipped the inside of the post, so it stayed in the net. You get a bump by Nas, put Zen in a precarious position. The wave dash recovery was good, but yeah, now you can see he's even looking out for that same play this time around. He does avoid it this time, and Nas just dunks on him. Massive 50-50 by Nas. Zen trying to control him here. Wants to keep a hold of that ball. But Nas just played for the dunk. He, he wasn't going for boost. He was going for goal. This is feeling like more game one and game two for Nas. He's changed it up. He's going to the Fennec. He's starting to make Zen think about every single challenge here as has won another kickoff. It's straight on net. He's forcing Zen to use every single ounce of boost that he's got. Zen recovers well. Pushes it downfield. So Nas loses the pressure, but Zen's overcommitted. That's not the shot that Nas could have perhaps got on that one. But he's tripped up Zen. He's grabbed his corner boost as well. And Zen is just trying to keep as much pace on his ball as possible. Nas looking to cut the angle. There's the 50 and the cut around shot on there. That should be a goal. Yeah. Nas gets the three goal lead. You see, that's what Nas wants. He wants the ball to be out in the middle of the field here where, you know, any kind of 50-50 will bounce into a, a shootable position. He can control Zen's challenges. You know, Zen did well there for a while to keep the ball rolling around the field, keep the ball moving in safe positions, but open field massively favored to the player with the boost advantage. And this wave dash recovery kickoff is doing real damage. And Zen is pretty afraid to go to the delayed kickoff because he got spotted last time he did it. Oh, what a shot by Nas with the reset. He is clinical as ever. Whenever he gets those chances, the ceiling shot from Nas, just too, simply too good, bar down and in. Yeah, I think I want to play on orange team so I can win some more kickoffs as Nas just is utterly dominant yet again, 5-1. This feels like game one as well. As Nas has won another kickoff. Zen is just routinely hitting the ball off kickoff and then tracking back into net. Because he loses yeah, it so convincingly. Yeah, a lot of practice with that, isn't he? But <laughs> he's, he's, he's broken free here. Ch real chance for Zen to score, and he does take it. Zen, he creates the angle. Cuts in field and shoots past the Moroccan. Let's see if this next kickoff is a hit the ball and track back to net simulator for Zen, or he can switch it up. He was able to defend that previous kickoff and turn he, it into yeah. a goal for himself. He should be, I mean, if he's, if he's trying to switch it up, he's got to go right here. So he went left last time and lost it. But actually, my, no, he's, okay. He, no, he's going to win this one. The nice block there was in. So the continuation was pretty even. But um, Nas does come away with the ball either way, even though Zen briefly had a boost advantage. Bumps him on spawn, <laughs> just add insult to injury and gets a sick goal from midfield play. Yeah, it's going to be frustrating for Zen, but it's pretty much all but over. Whenever you're demoed in a 1v1, it's nearly a goal every day of the week, unless it's in your own net here is Zen is down four. There's still half a game. This is, again, it, it does feel like earlier on in the series where it was oh, just a goal a first. That kickoff might just be straight in the net. Hang on a minute. Well, well, well. You know, Nas, credit to him. He, like you said, he's been winning a lot of kickoffs, but he's actually the player's changing up. He just drove into the ball there full on. Uh, you know, that would be great if Zen's delaying a kickoff. It would also, um, in some other situations, just deflect the ball to his back corner, but not with Zen being directly onto the ball as he was there. But it's an interesting idea by Nas, and even though he's winning kickoffs, he's still changing up. He's still keeping Zen guessing. That's been a huge component of his game today, For Zen cannot get a read on Nas from the center circle. Nas is just always one step ahead. Yeah, look at Zen just turning his car forward, expecting the dribble, the control touch from Nas, but this is what happens when you play so slow. The change-up speed is ridiculous. 
done it again here. Out to a four goal lead once again and make that a five. Can then get back to it. That's a beautiful save. Now follow up still puts it away. And just when you think Zen might have got at least figured figured something out on the kickoff, Nas responds, changes it up. It's a nice little wave dash, yeah, single no, jump I mean, kickoff. They, they both went for a wave dash kickoff, and Nas is simply stronger. He has more mass, it would seem. But I mean, clearly he's better at the execution of that. That is, you know, a mechanical uh, win there. It wasn't strategical by Nas. Oh, what a save as well! How has he stopped this one? And for straight Nas uh, Zen again. Making him go one more time. This time it will work. Zen still in a winnable position, but he is getting completely schooled with uh, kickoffs in this in this game. You know, it, Nas has had better mechanics in the kickoffs. He's just hitting the ball more dead center. He's had better approaches. He's picked his angles, um, you know, far uh, better than Zen has. You know, it's really up to Zen to fix. Now, now, there you go. He does get the better of him in that one. And Nas is just so consistent with it. It's one of the first things to go out the window in high-pressure situations. Kickoff starts to look messy because it's very difficult to do them consistently um, when high-pressure situations occur. And off to the backboard there by Zen. He goes for the rebound. Nas is not going to let him go through with a shot like that one. And he will punish him at the other end. Five goals now. There's only 95 seconds left. And Zen just not quite... Just not quite adapting to the Fennec change from Nas and the change of speed again. Once he figured out that Octane, Octane version of Nas, he was really dominant game three and four, but this is an all important game here to be one away from winning and moving on out of this preliminary final into the oh. grand final. What a reset from Zen. Nas tried to get the save. He got a touch on it, but it was still too strong. Yeah, and Zen needs to be converting on all these kickoff wins. I mean, he's won two in a row there. Scores off the back of this one. The last time he didn't, and that's you know been the difference. Nas has been so clinical with his possession plays. Um, Zen can't afford to just give opportunities to Nas. Nas to lean there, and Zen will have control. As he takes the ball back into his corner. Nas is sticking to him here, trying to put some pressure on. Zen transitions seamlessly into the air for the bump, and Nas can't get back. It's six for Zen. This is definitely still winnable if he can keep on winning kickoffs. He's won three in a row now. And again, when he does find Nas tracking back, trying to defend from in front of the ball, he's getting caught out time and time again. So Zen, when he is able to change that pace up, get a little bit of spacing on Nas, he's so deadly, but he's to find three more. There's a lot of time left based on how many goals have been scored. The majority of this I'll series is a reset. Zen covers both the fake and the flick here and will get possession back. And Nas going to back off. This is where he is so awkward. He finds it. Very hard to defend a player like Zen, but he's oh, done it superbly there. He's recovered, and oh. he might have just secured this game just yet. Nas is just so deceptive. Zen was looking for him. He wanted the air dribble bump. Nas managed to avoid him and perfectly saves the shot with a buttery smooth recovery as well. Ten goals again for Nas against Zen. He's done this twice in the series, doing double digits against the world champion. It was a fantastic play there in defense that set up that goal. Has won the kickoff, pushes it forward, and really if you're right now, all you need to do is stop this clock, eat up as much time as possible. Zen with a flick, that is step one of how to not do it. No, no time <laughs> wasted at all. But uh, yeah, good shot by Zen. He's stuck that right over Nas to say the fake challenge by Nas didn't really do anything at all. Zen does need to take all his chances here and stop every one of Nas's, because Nas is such a good player in possession of the ball. He really does know how to keep control of it without taking any risks at all. He's got control here, shoots immediately, because he knows that's going to keep Zen out of the game for a good while. Yeah, oh, I would absolutely triple that one back if I was Nas, but <laughs> Zen still trying to find yeah, something. Back yeah, there we go. That is just, as soon as you take it back, it's pretty much over. Zen knowing that as well, Nas will move on. 3-2 now, moving on to match point in this series. A huge game here, and also the first game five that Zen's lost, albeit this is now a best of seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the first time the NAS has led against Zen after uh, five games in a series. Their four previous meetings were all best of fives, and uh, Zen won all of them. Yeah, Z NAS is the improving player. He's on the come up. Zen seems to have found his stride at times during the series, but others, 
Um, he is definitely a, a way off the pace. And you, you, you correctly mentioned it, the kickoff game has been critical for Nas. He's been one step ahead. Even when he's winning kickoffs, he's still changing his strategy to keep Zen guessing. And that's, you know, a really difficult thing to do when you win a kickoff. It's very tempting to just do the same thing again because you think, oh, great, that worked. Let me do it again. Yep. Um, but, uh, you know, Nas isn't doing that. He's winning a kickoff. He's thinking, okay, what will Zen do against that kickoff I just beat him with? Okay, I'll do this because that beats what he's going to switch to. Um, and you can see what can happen. You could just suddenly have win after win after win. And he's so clinical uh, with his chances as well from those kickoff possessions. I think it's one thing as well to be changing up and, and showing the, I don't know, the variability on kickoff. But it's another thing when, when Nas and Zen are doing the exact same kickoff. Going and he wins for it. and yeah. he wins it, and that's just mechanical. That is yeah, not a decision pure, pure mechanics, or, yeah. or technique or you know experience. That is purely mechanics. It's about who, is, who's hitting the ball harder, who's getting more precise central touch, who's more goals, who's more fluid in their approach, more boost efficient yeah. in their approach, who can get the right angle, especially with wave dash recovery kickoffs. It's all about the angle you jump into yeah. the ball. If you're too far back, your car will just get pushed over backwards. If you're too too far forwards, you're not going to. Uh, have the stopping touch. You're Such a fine line as you. well too. Super precise. I mean, people don't appreciate the mechanics that you need for a wave dash recovery kickoff. If you want to know how difficult it is, go try it in your own game. It is not as simple to just single jump into the ball and stop a world-class player from hitting the ball through you. Um, never mind, you know, lower-ranked players um, and, uh, you know, uh, very low-ranked players where you don't see the strategy used at all because it's simply too difficult. Yeah, I've never seen Rizzo do it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> We are into the next game, and One as nil. we talk about it, Nas dominates the kickoff and gets a goal instantly. Yeah, big push to the outside, but with just one boost pad. Look at the pathing there by Nas, like over the boost pad as he jumps and rebounding it in for 1-0. They pushed it around Zen there. Now, look at it. Gets it to the side wall, which Zen counters. A nice adaptation by him. That's a much better sign early on there for Zen that he stopped. Nas from just going again and again, and now the reset is coming. Zen uses it, it gets saved beautifully by Nas, and the recovery is brilliant. The shot is on target. Has it bounced too high? No, it hasn't. Nas 2 0. Nas in one of the most, definitely the most important game that he's ever played in his attempt to beat Zen for the first time as well. Finds the second goal on the board here. Early on, Nas still in the lead, not seeing. Adaptation from Zen just yet. He's able to push this one forward. Is Zen able Ooh. to win this kickoff? Yes, he is. Grabs the corner boost, turns it around on net. Nas, knowing that it's high, letting that one drop to the ground. Staying on this one. He's got enough boost to create something to be dangerous, but Zen right there, looking to attack. Looking to get his first goal. He just needs to find a way here because Nas has just dominated these 50s. Zen recovering in time and trying to bait Nas into a challenge. Well, that's fantastic play by Zen to have control of the ball here and be threatening anything. He would have been really stuck at defense if he didn't get that ball on top of his car. So you can clearly see that Nas is just the, the master of turning over the possession and stopping Zen's attacks from getting started even. Zen really taking his time with this one. Immaculate control for the air dribble bump. And Nas can't jump because Zen's in the way. It looks like the strategy you chose to de is defend this one is just never going to work. I mean, honestly, just put your controller down. I think the only way to save those is trying to go off the side wall there and trying to get a little bit of height because once you're stuck on the ground mm. and Zen getting that ball in the perfect spot, yeah. it's so hard to, to well, save. That, was, that was a slow one as well. Like, uh, you know, Zen was not going the fastest in his approach to NASA. If he could build up some momentum on the side wall, like you said, he might just be able to hit Zen into saving his own shot. Yep. So. You know, there were other options. Nas tried to wait for Zen to fly over him. Zen wasn't going to give it to him. Had the flip reset. Fake. And Zen dunks him on the goal line. Once Nas is up for momentum, had been cancelled out. Again, it's a threat of that flip reset, and he just never, ever uses it here. Nas waiting at the, for the very last moment, but catching himself or finding himself so awkward. Back to 2-2. Zen, an instant, a perfect response here. And gee, he plays well under pressure. We've seen it in other formats. We've seen it at the World Championships. Especially in game fives yesterday in the BO5. This is best of seven. Let's see how he goes, but he's back oh, against the Oh, what challenge. Wall. Huge entrance to the play by Zen. Nas trying to play a stalling touch so he can back up and turn to face him. And Zen coming again with an air dribble. What's it going to be this time? It's another air dribble bump attempt. Nas waiting and waiting before making a save, but he has not kept control of the ball this time. It's still Zen in attack. 
Still Zen threatening, and he can play for another boost seal here. This does have a chance to enter the play and stop him. Oh, look at the speed by Zen. Just when you think that's to stabilize, Zen launches into a direct shot off the sidewall. I didn't think that was a bad touch from Nas. He's trying to get it to the other side of the field, but Zen is still just way too quick and so ready to challenge that ball, get the extra touch, find the angle, and he has scored three unanswered goals. He gets the lead for the first time here in game number six. Now it's back on Nas to respond. Yeah, Nas with the boost advantage backs off. The boost advantage is even, but and Zen said to lose control of the ball to even it out. Full pitch air dribble from the ground for Nas. This is a very tough one to do um, efficiently, but he's led into a boost steal at the other end, always thinking about micro advantages. Big challenge successful by Zen. And it doesn't look like Nas is expecting that follow up reverse challenge. He knows Zen's got hardly any boosts here. Zen surprising him again and again, deflects the flick wide. And he's got just enough boost to jump and save the next shot. This defense by Zen is impressive, but Nas is still knocking at the door. This is game one all over again, just wearing Zen down. He's playing so slowly, so Zen doesn't have any time to back off and grab 100 boost. He's grabbing pads, and he's trying to stall enough time for this corner. Oh my the bump. Zen avoiding everything right now. Nas wanted that corner, but the ball is not in the right spot. Zen leaving it. There it is. He grabs the corner. Is wow. it enough? to end this offense from Nas. Nas still around, Zen pushing it forward. Doing so well in defense with one or two pads every single time. Oh my word. And he's led to this stalemate in midfield. That was just edge of your seat the entire time, Nas. Just refusing to give Zen a defensive 50-50. I mean, the whole time there, Zen has no way of actually adding momentum to the ball and getting rid of it. Just, Nas isn't giving it to him. And now here comes Zen. Plenty of momentum in this play. Air dribble to the top corner. Rebound denied by Nas. And the counter attack is there. Yeah, you heard Nas coming as well. Back straight off this one. Nas trying to create that angle. He grabbed the 100 boost. He's going to be able to walk this one around him. Yes, he is, but he oh. doesn't. Pitch it off the post. It goes out. Nas still on the attack. 100 boost. Zen still in massive trouble. Shot oh. on. Zen reaches. Just gets the save. Pushes it forward. Gets demoed. He's just got to be the goal. The tying goal for Nas. Puts it on net and it's good. gets it. Nas is relentless. Zen just cannot get 100 boost and a free ball. As soon as he gets out of his half, he's right back to Nas pressure. And the demo did the trick. Zen thought he had an opening to... Wave dash onto the wall and get that big clear, but Nas is just completely applying the squeeze. And now he might be able to take a late game advantage. Kickoff goes in his favor. Zen is trying to stay on this one, but this is so risky. He finds an opening. Nas still comes away with the ball and boost. Phenomenal defense and offense. Zen has to produce again here. The reset's coming through the 50. He's perfect there, but Nas. Again, he's more focused on grabbing those boosts. Sustained offense. Has he got to oh. go for the side code? That was insanely close. Zen throws it on net. It is oh. wide. The follow-up recovered by Nas. He's got Zen. enough boost to threat here. Nas straight down the middle. Flick is good, but Zen's going to be there to save it. And he's following through here. He fakes the challenge. Nas doesn't fall for it. It's another boost steal. 100 boosts for Nas. First touch is a long way away from the wall. What is Zen going to do here? Nas is coming at him with the goal attempt, but it's saved. And we go to overtime. He just could not find the flick on the second reset. Nas doing the kickoff, flicking the ball up. Every moment, every pixel, so intense here. Every adjustment could be the last. Oh Nas needs goodness. one more Zen, a huge save. Still no boost. It's rinse and repeat here, but he does get it out. And Zen looks like he might have equalized here, but Nas is just making it so hard for Zen to grab a boost pad, and he's past him. That's it. the bounce. Nas is good for the rebound. He advances to the grand final with one of the most immaculately controlled performances you will ever see. Zen will need to set over third place. It's Naupo versus Nas for Salt Mine 3. This time, perfect offense. Takes down perfect defense. Nas responds. When Zen had his back against the wall, that's when he plays his best. He saw the best version of Zen. But the play style difference, the boost, the control, and the presence was just too much in overtime there. What a wow. series. It deserved a Game 7, really. But that Game 6 had absolutely everything. Just ridiculous from Nas. I mean, the patience to, that you need to just play for these small advantages over and over again. The perfect spacing 
and control to consistently deny Zen any boost. I mean, Zen is so efficient and defended brilliantly there, but Nasser really did deny him boost for the longest time that you will ever see in uh, 1v1 at this level. And it's just a you know strategical masterclass there. Um, and flawlessly executed. You're, you're playing so dangerously there. You know, you're, when you wait and wait and wait against Zen, you got to think at some point he's going to break free and then he's just going to score at the other end. But Nas, he just never let him out of defense. He just kept him there, boxed into a corner, and eventually, when it was clear cut, he took the chance. I mean, it's it's so exciting when you, you, know, you have those series with both players giving space and you see highlight clips, but the, the nuances of that series with just no player giving so an tense. inch, giving a millimeter, and the smallest of mistakes being capitalized on wearing your opponent down. There's a there's there's beauty in that. That's what we saw there in the, at really the very end of the last two minutes of game six. Zen trying to hold strong, but yeah. Nas just just getting that that little edge in the end. Yeah, and Zen he's been uh, unbelievable in in ace matches in game fives this uh, this series. So I think that was the the moment for Nas there. If he lost this one, it would have been terrifying to go up against Zen in game seven. So a new uh, champion. Uh, will be uh, confirmed here. Nasa defending stage two champion, trying to go back to back and really cement himself yep. as the best uh, player from EU, uh, Salt Mine 3. And yeah, he, he just keeps, seems to just continue to mm. be such a well rounded player, such an adaptable player. He, you know, switches to Fennec there when things were going wrong. Just uh, unreal. But yeah, Naupo versus Nas. That's the grand final. It's the yep. opposite of what we were talking about beforehand, where the you know the the obvious one, where you're thinking, okay, uh, Ruas, Zen, other side of the bracket. That seems to be the 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 scripted we've, we've grand final. We've got the polar opposite. We've gone the complete opposite way. So this is awesome to see the new players uh, who have yet to. Well, I mean, I think Naupo has and Nas yep. has as well. There they are known players, but newer players yep. who haven't had the same uh, spotlight on them. Now they've got a chance to show the world what they can do. We saw Naupo destroy Ruas earlier. Now Nas has made uh, you know such a a stunning performance against Zen Work. Um, Mina on top. Mina, Mina on NA top. NA on top it's, of EU in that series as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. We got, uh, you know, we got uh, Salt Mate 3 Mina, it should just be at this point, with yeah. uh, Nas uh, from North Africa, Morocco. Um, NA, yeah, we call that. Yeah, the Middle East, North America. <laughs> but we're gonna go, NA on top. We're going to go to a break here. We have to uh, get ready for the grand final in uh, just a few minutes, so don't go too far. It's Naupo versus Nas for the Salt Mine 3 uh, overall uh, tournament victory, and it's going to be happening right after this break.